All right, we're back. I'm taking over. Why do you get to open? What? What? No. Nothing. I just felt like a monkey for a second. Yeah. I can't hear this stuff. All the stuff you're hearing, I can't hear. You know why? They hate me. All right. P-A-T-V. Hate me. Well, today we have a very special show. Why, Phil? There's some drama going on. That's right. Something's going to happen at the end of the show. You know what? One of us will die. That's right. We'll go away. Which one the... is it? Who will it be? Is it going to be me or him? Oh, birds. <laughs> what is yeah, that? See, Why you birds? can hear that. What is they that? They don't mean, hate you. Making birds happen. He's in control of all the sounds. Making birds. Birds on my show. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm breaking down, buddy. I'm breaking down. So someone's gonna die today. Someone's gonna go up to the birdies in the sky. What do you think it's like to die, Phil? How does it I feel think, like? I think it's it. It's over. Forget it. So live your life now. You don't get a second chance. Don't read those books, man. Make it happen. If there's a girl you want to talk to or a guy, if it's that, like that, which is cool, uh, you know, talk to them. Don't you think you can get reborn as an insect or anything like that? No, that's a load. That's not happening. No. Don't think that, man. Then you're going to waste your time on this planet going, I'll just save it for when I'm an insect. No, 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 no. Yeah, nah, what, nah. what about, what about uh, in a nice place full of clouds and stuff and, and jamming with John Lennon and all that kind of stuff? God, how could you be so naive? Ay! All right. PATV, we're going out, we're going off topic here. But someone will die today. Somebody, somebody. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. Yay. 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 Is this what you want? Forget it, I made my life! Stupid Welly, well, well, folks, here it is, the first handful episode of 21-1. What have we got in the store for you? A whole lot of wiggly giggling by the looks of things. This week, I'm talking about the kind of person who is so unique and has led a life filled with such a colorful combination of elements that you're not sure if you would believe them if you saw them as a you know, character in a work of fiction on account of them seeming so implausible. For this week's Implausible Person Review, we here at In a Handful of Minutes present to you Götz von Berlichen and Jen. Jen, Jen. Good old Gotzi, as I'm going to ignorantly refer to him for the rest of the episode, was a German Imperial Knight, which means that he was basically a nobleman who ruled his patch of Germany, deferring only to the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. He also liked to settle people's disputes by fighting as a mercenary, and it's in doing that that he earns most of his implausible person achievements. First up, he earned the ludicrous equipment badge shortly after losing an arm to cannon fire. That arm was replaced with this metal doolally that could precisely hold a sword, the reins of a horse, or even the quill of a pen. A metal arm in an age of flintlock pistols and riding on horseback? Well, I think that also earns him the real life anime character achievement. Cosplayers, take note. Uh... Ooh... Oh, good. Anyways, Godzi gets some points in both the Legacy and Catchphrase departments on account of a play that was written about him in 1773 by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. In the play, Godzi replies to a demand for his surrender with Er eber sags im, er kann mich im arsen lecken 
which roughly translates into the first recorded utterance of Kiss my arse. This led to a different kind of canon taking apart in Gotzi's life when Mozart wrote a pair of them. Now just roll that one around in your head for a second there. Mozart wrote two pieces of music about telling a guy to lick your arse. That's like if Albert Einstein invented the perfect whoopee cushion, if Shakespeare wrote an Adam Sandler film, or if Insane Clown Posse mm, did what they usually do but possessing a once in a generation talent. Jean Paul Sartre also wrote a play about Gotzi, and it's not hard to see why so many people were enamored with a man who twice survived being placed under an imperial ban by the emperor himself. Now, an imperial ban meant that all your possessions were taken away, and that it was legally okay for anyone at all to do anything at all to you. Plus, excommunication was always thrown into the package deal. And Gotz von Berlichingen lived out his days as a man that could be killed legally, was condemned to the bowels of hell, packed a metal arm that was well ahead of its time, inspired Mozart to write the lyric, Lick my arse, that's a greasy desire, and fought up and down Europe before dying old age after having produced his own brood. Uh, he had kids the usual way. Brood might not have been a good choice of words. So what is the final grade for Gotz von Berlichingen? Well, I'll give him 27 out of 32 pocket watches on our arbitrary scale. A few points have to be lost for the fact that it wasn't strictly him that coined the phrase, kiss my arse, and unfortunately he was appropriated by the Nazis as the name for an SS Panzer Grenadier Division. But whatever man, I think if we had more robo-armed hellbound German knights to resolve disputes, then the world would be a much more interesting place. Hmm. Well, now the show's over, I guess Oliver's going to be arrested for inciting all those over-enthusiastic cosplayers. I'd ask, who's going to be the host for the show next week? But really, I'm just curious where all those anime fans got access to so many cannons.